Welcome to our next exercise. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an optical visor. We'll use a standard part in millimeters. All right, sketch one is active, but let's actually click finish sketch. Let's delete this sketch. Now I'm going to insert a sketch on the YZ plane. Right click, new sketch. Okay, let's activate the rectangle tool. Snap my first corner to the origin point. And here's my first rectangle. Let's place a second rectangle. Now a circle using the tangent method. Here's the first line of tangency, the second, and the third. And here's our circle. Let's bring in the trim tool now. Clean up our geometry a little bit. Okay, you can see where I'm going with this, right? Now let's apply some dimensions and constraints. This length will make 75 millimeters. Okay. 45 here. Okay. Sixty two point five millimeters here. Okay. And the radius of my arc, twelve point five millimeters. Okay. Let's apply an equal constraint to this line and this line. This line will be fifteen millimeters. And my sketch is fully constrained, so let's click Finish Sketch. And let's activate the extrude command. We'll change the direction of the extrusion. Make the depth 60 millimeters, OK. Let's apply a draft now. Activate the draft command. We'll use the fixed plane option. And now select the plane and the face. The angle I'll make 5 degrees and OK. Let's activate the draft command again. Again, the fixed plane method. Select our plane and the face. Draft angle also 5 degrees. OK. Let's take an isometric view now. Next, I'll use the shell command. Let's select the faces to remove. Now let's specify the thickness at 2 millimeters. OK. Next, we'll make a cut on the front of the optical visor. Let's create a sketch for that. Activate the rectangle tool. Snap it to this point. Now we'll dimension our rectangle. 30 millimeters for the width. 40 for the length. OK. Exit the sketch. Extrude. Let's use the cut mode. Select the profile to extrude. OK. Let's apply the fillet command now. Of course, I can apply fillets before the shell command is applied, and that would actually save me a step. However, since I didn't do it then, I'll just do it now. First radius, 10 millimeters. And let me select this edge. Now a second fillet of 12 millimeters. And 12, that's to compensate for the wall thickness of 2 millimeters. OK. Let's apply another fillet of radius 2.5 millimeters. Select here. And another fillet with radius 4.5 millimeters. Again, to compensate for the wall thickness. Now I'm going to create a hole that originates from this face. Circle command. Snap to this point for the center. And let's dimension the diameter, 5 millimeters. OK. Finish the sketch. Activate the extrude command. Let's select our profile. And use the cut mode. Click OK. Let's right click on this face, New Sketch. Activate the Line command. Snap to this point. 
and let's make it 40 millimeters in length. Now the circle tool. We'll make it 125 millimeters in diameter. OK. Activate the extrude command now. Select our profile. We're using a cut. Let's click OK. So here is half of our visor. Let's use the mirror tool. We'll mirror the entire body, and let's select this face as our mirror plane. Click OK. And here is our completed visor. This concludes this exercise. Be sure to save your work.